Hello everyone, I am Gleam with Barbie and welcome back on my channel. Today I want to show you how I clean this amazing cluttered kitchen. A lady lives here with her teenager child. Her husband left four years ago and now she has to fight with all the problems alone. She broke down, she lost the hope. She was dreaming about have a family, have a nice home and she just lost all of them. She wanted to change, of course, but she doesn't know where to start. And I am very, very happy because she was brave enough to ask my help. I hope my help is enough motivation for her. I'm a sweetheart, but when I clean, when I organize, I am very, very hard. That's mean. If I'm there, I want to bring very big change for the owners. When I see condition like this, when it's everything is full with stuff and those stuff is not really necessary for the owner, this is what I think, then the first thing what I ask, are you ready to throw out most of the things? She didn't give me a hard time. It was very easy to work with her. As you see, everything is full. So at the first time, I wanted to see how much room, how much space we have. So I opened the cabinets. My idea was we gonna keep only that thing what can go into the cabinet. I didn't want to see mugs, plates out of the cabinet. Everything has to be in the same place. I didn't want to leave any plastic containers. The glass is more expensive and it's much better. So I tried to keep that. I knew she told me she's not really cooking anymore because of the condition, but I hope after I clean the kitchen, she's gonna start to cook again. So I definitely wanted to leave some stuff because i don't want she start her life to buy new stuff because i just throw everything away so plastic containers it, it was colored it was broken or without top so i really didn't want to keep them but glass is something else i started to put all the glass all the mugs all the bowl all the place together. Probably you feel bad because I made a lot of garbage and probably you can see I, I just throw away something what you think it's still usable. But please guys understand in this condition when the kitchen is full, no chance to keep everything. I know you feel bad. I know you don't like to see that when we're wasting stuff but it's necessary for a big change. This kitchen is a real puzzle because I really had to figure it out what things, what lid, what top is fit with what. But unfortunately, I didn't find too much stuff where it was fitting together.
thank you guys for all the very nice and positive comments about my videos how helpful for you all the time when you write a comment like barbie i watch your video i got motivated and i started to clean my own house it's just like melting my heart like i still can't believe i really did it like last year i had an idea let's start to have for people like physically and let's start make videos and have for others get motivated just like me when i saw a cleaning video and it really happened i really can motivate others this is amazing guys and thank you so much This monster just went to the garbage without any question. I was very very proud of the owner one because she asked my help two because she was strong enough to start to throw away her stuff and three because she was cleaning with me in this video i won't show you the whole house but I told them, if I see they really can keep up the condition in the kitchen, and I know they will, I'm ready to come back a couple of months later and help them with the whole house. So I'm not showing you guys right now, but the whole house is really cluttered. The reason they had a storage, but the lady couldn't afford anymore. So all the stuff just came back to their house and now it's everywhere so i'm really ready to help them more and clean out the whole house and give them back the home a lot of people ask me what is my motivation why i'm doing how can i still doing after a year and my answer is very simple when i see tears in these people's eyes i just know i have to do this for others i am probably the only one person who can help them who can give back their life so why it's not doing this is the strongest motivation ever i really ready to help for this family because i want to see them again to happy to be happy to smile when they step in the house just just step with that feeling like this is my home this is where i can sleep well take a rest watch tv eat a good food something and if i can do that if i'm able to help because i'm strong enough why to not do this for others i really like this job and i really really thankful for god or someone i don't know who who sent me for this way but i'm really happy i found this job this is my job this is my life this is my third third kid i really really like to do this and 
probably it's too much and i'm talking too much about how how much i like this job but imagine you are changing someone's life it's i can't tell you a better thing You can see how dirty and greasy this countertop. So at the first time I used a microfiber cloth, hot water and dishwasher soap to soak on all the dirt. After I use easy off the greaser. Why the degreaser started to work and you know melt up all the grease, I was focusing for the other side of the kitchen. Probably you think it's very weird why I put all the dirty dishes on the floor and you know guys I just started to clean the, a very tiny countertop and uh, the other side it's still full with, with um, dirty dishes so first I have to clean down the countertop but because it's full with stuff what else could I do so that's why it's, it's everything still dirty so it really doesn't matter I just you know, try to fix this problem very fast. i
Do you ever finish this fast with your dishes? And here we are. So this stove, it's a very, very scary, even for me, because I don't know how long they didn't clean this stove and everything is so burned. But let's see, what can I do with this? So I use easy of degreaser again. This is how the kitchen looks like after a couple of hours cleaning. All of you guys so nice and you always um, write a comment which is very very helpful and I really want to use these tips. Um, the problem with my job, you know probably because I, I already told like in my videos, I am a mom of two, I have a complex family and I can do this when my husband is not working, that's me on weekends. Um, the problem is my time is very limited, I don't have enough time to go through on every little corner on, on, on everything because my family is waiting for me. I really want to have more but it's just not possible because for example with this kitchen i was working on this kitchen six and a half hours and under six and a half hours this is what i could do this is how much change i can bring for this family and this stove won't be perfect on the end but it's much better i wish i have time you know to leave um to soak on all the burnt stuff for hours but unfortunately i can't go back on the next day so this is what i can do under six or eight hours so what i'm exactly did here is i was scrubbing with metal sponge and after i used easy of degreaser and i was scrubbing again this product into the dirt and after i used a little more easy off and i used oven cleaner too so, so this was my idea and i really hope it's gonna help with with the years of burn stuff on this stove Unfortunately, I wasn't really lucky in this case. I don't know guys if you noticed or not, I changed the music and I very hope you like it. Um, so this music is kind of me uh, a little bit relaxing but at the same time is give you a little energy to move i hope you enjoy it
I am so sorry guys I don't know what happened here I wanted to show you how I organize um, this shelf from the beginning to the end but my phone just stopped to record so I can't show you unfortunately Okay, and after this little mistake, I just went back to the countertop and I started to clean more because I really wanted to see this kitchen more clean and that helps, you know, I told you already, it, it helps to my brain to see through what is the next step. To clean the toaster and the blender, I just used hot water and dish soap, strong sponge and microfiber cloths. I don't know why, but I definitely wanted to put this microwave on the other side. I don't know, it's just like I had a weird feeling like this is not fitting here or I don't know. So I told to the family on the end, I am sorry, but I placed the, the microwave on the other side. But if it's not comfortable or you don't like it, just put it back. It's your kitchen, but I just I just wanted to put there. And the family told me, like, you believe or not, but the microwave was always on the other side. So it was great because now they can see the kitchen, like, like the old kitchen, the clean kitchen. And it was just a feeling, but I was right. The other question is why I'm not moving the stove out. Sometimes the, the, the room is not enough to move out or these stoves are very heavy and I really don't know what is behind but as I told you my, my time is limited. I don't have time to clean everything. For example, I didn't clean the, the fridge but after I leave the owner can pull out the oven or clean the, the fridge because they also have to do something. I am not lazy guys. I, I really wish to clean everything 100% clean, but 
sometimes I just can't. And I already know you guys, I know my watchers and I know you don't like when I spray um, strong products into the, the microwave. So I just used water with dish soap and I heat it up in the microwave. I hope you like this. Many of the comments say I don't have to apologize or I, or I don't have to change the music or I don't have to change anything with, with how I'm cleaning or something. But I have to do that. And let me tell you why. Because you guys, you help me to do this job. If you are not watching me, if you are not satisfied with my video and after like two minutes you just quick out of my video, that means I can offer this help for these people. So it's two kinds of job. One is a physically when I'm cleaning and the other when I show you my videos for you guys. So it's very important to you and anybody else who's watching my video be satisfied and think this is a great video and this is a great cleaning so that's why i always have to follow the instruction but it tries to help me how can i make better video for you guys Do you see that bobby pin on top of the microwave? Good, because I didn't see it. So I don't know what happened. This is why I'm wearing glasses. I just easily swept down and I'm editing this video for hours. And this is the first time when I see, I didn't see that. Oh guys, you don't have idea how, how good is that when you're doing a very little detail but the kitchen is actually, or the place what you're cleaning is actually clean and you know it's, it's a very little thing left like sweep up and mopping or just clean the, the cabinets. It's such a good feeling when you know it's like almost done.
so before i started to wash this floor um i used a very little degreaser i sprayed on the floor because i wanted to make sure i don't have to scrub too much times and i use warm water and you know just a regular floor cleaning product i think i used fabulous so 